Hello, welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Tellian, and we are starting a new series, StarCraft 1, the original campaign. I'm excited to bring this to you all. I really do enjoy the whole storyline of StarCraft, at least of the original. Uh, I do have issues with the second one a little bit, but this is where it all started. Uh, this actually... I think this was my second RTS game that I ever started playing. I think Warcraft 2 was the first one that I did. And this was one that came out and I me immediately got hooked. And we're going to jump in to the intro that got this all started. I remember when this screen first appeared. Oh, it was awesome. I'm ready to bring this to you all. I hope you're ready, because I am. I can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, oh, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girls strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama. <laughs> for me out there, Joey Ray. We got terror for sure. I don't know about the risk. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. <laughs> we hit pay dirt this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. I'm detached and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hitch of my game hey, up in here and there. I'm in here, Jack. I'm in here, Jack. I'm in here, Jack. I'm in here, I've always wondered what that ship was that destroyed that Terran ship in the intro. I kind of wonder if that was like a precursor to the mothership that we get to see uh, in StarCraft 2. Obviously it's nothing that seems to match obviously any units uh, from the actual game. So I've always been kind of curious on that. Uh, I'm kind of curious on what you guys think if you have any ideas of what what type of ship that was that destroyed them, or if it was just something they just threw in as part of the intro. Uh, but let's jump into StarCraft. And, of course, we are Tellian. And we're going to go straight through the episodes. One, two, then three. And obviously, it's telling us we should do the Terran campaign. So let us jump in to it. Terran campaign, Rebel Yell. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colonies of Chao Sara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. 
The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. We're actually going to go ahead and do all the missions, including the tutorial. It's always a good thing just to get things rolling with the game. Whenever you feel you are ready, you may select Start. Thank you. We really appreciate that. So what we need to do, obviously, is build three supply depots, build a refinery, and gather some Vespian gas, it appears. And I remember when this first came out, they did need to do this a lot with... Any time is fine. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to get there. Relax. I'm talking. Um, and back in the day, you really did need these intros because if you didn't have them... I guess you could figure it out, but it was a little bit more trickier, in my opinion. You're okay to go. We're okay to go? Well, we appreciate that. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get ready to jump. Magistrate? Are you alright? Yeah, we're okay. Okay, so it is the end of briefing. I was going to be like, uh, are you going to keep interrupting me as I'm trying to talk? I don't know why you were doing that. That just seems a little rude to me. But, alright, so obviously this is where, um, I think in the original, they all of course had little animations, but they really did clean up the way they looked. Oh, in the brief, okay, fine. I guess they're being a little picky. Alright, let's jump in, and we'll gab a little bit about the game a little bit as we play. Alright. The T-280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. Start moving this. To build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. Let's make you speak freely, sir. I'm not sure you know what you're doing. If you're going to send us into hostile territory and you want us to defend ourselves, then use the attack command. But if you want us to ignore enemy fire and go exactly to the spot you targeted, then use the move command. Now, which will it be? Go, go, go! Yeah, as I said, this is going to be very much a tutorial Let's telling go. you how to play it. Obviously, I have played this a lot, so... I kind of know the game pretty decently. Um, okay, so you need more minerals. Let's move. Outstanding. Woo! The pathing in this game has much to be desired. You will definitely learn that as the game goes on. Oh, there's stuff down here. Come here. Go, go, go. Stand in by. Rock and roll. Jacked up and good to go. Rock and roll. Go, go, go. But I think what I was trying to say is between the remastered and the original, I really do feel they did a great job on improving the game. Nope. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, did I lose somebody? Ah, That's sad. Go, go, go. Let's because go. when this game first go, came go, out, obviously, go. uh, it wasn't, it wasn't bad graphics, honestly. But go, I do really feel go. when they did go, the remaster, go, go. they really made the units look better, uh, even the portraits. Let's move. Uh, the pathing, of course, they didn't fix because I think that's part of the charm, actually, with the game. Um, I feel like sometimes StarCraft 2 is too clean of a game, I guess is one way of putting it. Um, just because it's too easy to maneuver. And I don't know how to explain it. Even the minerals, like the minerals are too perfect in where they get placed. Uh, because if you notice that, obviously these are not imperfect. And if you've ever, anybody that ever has played the, oh, hello, um, ever played the original well, anybody that's played StarCraft 2, let me get my brain wrapped around. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Play the game, talk to you all, and explain my thought process. Um, but, yeah, I just always felt it was very... Oh, hello. Oh, you guys, okay. You survived, okay. Um, 
It just felt this was more organic or more realistic than what, yeah, we appreciate it. I just, I don't know. As I said, I feel like the way they did the second game, they were lined up perfectly, the minerals were, the gas were exactly, you know, apart, and it just took away the whole realism, I guess is the best way to put it, in my opinion. Oh, there's the one that we're missing. Hey, you let the guys go out without you. How dare you? I was wondering what if we lost somebody, but apparently he just never came with us. So, yeah, that was just kind of my thoughts between the layout. Like, this is very more realistic. Oh, we're all in. But... <clears throat> As I said, I have a lot of thoughts about the game between the original and StarCraft 2. I still enjoy both games, but I do like a lot of things about the original that the second one, I feel uh, I feel lost some of that a little bit as they were trying to make it more... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Streamlined, I guess is the best way to put it. So, if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you feel up to it, come over and join us over on my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description and that way you can be kept up to date when new videos come out and also see what new series that I would like to do in the future on the channel. And as always, I hope to see you all next time. Until then. <laughs>